That's what they said. The whole thing has to be torn down. You can maybe sell the land without building some kind of reservoir and water from pouring in around the foundations. I know, but these hundred year floods are happening.
She told her boss. Pardon? Not nice. Uh huh. Yeah. That was disgusting. Wow. Gentrification? Just the way it is. Anybody know a prolapse? That's a handle. Yeah. This guy's swatting people during live streams. Sounds like a real dick bag. Worse than that. He flies a dead sec flag. Nuh uh. Nobody likes swatters. This is only gonna hurt our image. Let's see if I can find him online. <laughs> wow. He really doesn't cover his tracks. I've already got an address. I'll put together a dead sec statement to denounce him. And I'll go teach him a lesson. Okay, I'm in. Who is this tool? Basement troll, amateur swatter, internet garbage. This is gonna be fun, but not for him. Yeah, looks like 
That's because you're a straight up fuckboy, Rip Roll 92. And you deserve to perish from all the other norms. 911, what's your emergency? Because I can make that happen for you. Was that a gunshot? Ma'am, are you okay? Hold on. I'm sending help to you. Fuck you! I'm gonna fucking kill somebody! I'm gonna lose it! Code 11. Repeat. Code 11. Get yourself somewhere safe. We're coming in hard. Hello? If you can hear me, please respond. Are you still there? I can't understand you. This guy, fuck. He's like the avatar of everything that sucks about the internet. The sooner we separate him from DeadSec, the better. How do we do that? Anybody can join. We have unofficial official channels. I've prepared a hit piece for our mouth-breathing friend. Trust me, he's out. They're stuck in there for over. Marcus, have you looked at our follower count lately? Yeah, we're making waves. We've got to make people see Bloom for what it is, Marcus. The longer it takes, the more they rely on CTOS. They'll get used to things the way they are, and then DeadSec becomes a conspiracy theory fringe. It won't matter if what we're saying is true, if people don't want it to be. Yeah, but this is just the start. When we show them the shit that's brewing behind Bloom's doors, they'll join us in droves. If you want deets on where the car is at, better have something juicy for me. Like Jimmy Siska and pop star Nelly Shire? They are banging. I knew it. See, okay, now we're talking. Consider it sent. <laughs> Hella cool. Coolosity.
All right. I sent you the GPS of the car's route. System check. Sweet! Let's roll. All units, we are in pursuit of a stolen vehicle from the movie studio. All units, be advised. Air support squad, we have alerts of a hostile in your area. Block him on the other side! I got him here! Do you feel the need? The need for speed! Drive this vehicle. Well, I'm authorizing myself, motherfucker. Wrench, you hear this? The car's talking. Sensors to read. What? Bitch, I'm black and I'm proud. Tell your sensors to calibrate that. I have no reference for black. No, of course you don't. Keep your hands and feet inside the tornado at all times. Hang on to your innards, Devin. Together, we will carve up the streets. Wait, did you just say a line from the movie? Wrench, you hearing this? I am one nitrous jacked smart car. Ah, crap, I've lost him. Oh, wait, did, did you just say the car quoted the movie? Yeah. <laughs> that is so meta. Copy that. A patrol car is en route to the suspect. He may have switched cars. Be advised, units are on route. To I'm the clear. Location. Meet you at the garage. On my way. I am Devin Von Devin, and I am... You are not Devin 
Devon Von Devon is handsome and swarthy. <laughs> you are not. Oh, come on. I'm sure as hell swarthier than any dude named Von Devon. Damn, Silicon Valley couldn't hire one brother? My Galilei creators think of everything. Yeah, maybe not everything. Oh man, this car, this car is something else. Yeah, well, kudos to Galilee for getting the studio to pay for this lemon. Lemon? Did you hear it? And never mind voice recognition. I mean, sure, it needs a smack of sided scripting, but it had cogent responses. Do you know how much work had to go into that? Uh, Galilee has been talking about machine learning for their Mars probe, but man, I didn't expect it to be as advanced as it. Oh, man. I know it! <laughs> I do not approve of you driving me, Marcus. You're not as swarthy as Devin Von Devon. I knew it had too much smart ass to be smart. Wow! Shiny and new. So it wasn't responding at all? Well, does, um... Does, does that count? Yeah, fuck you, man. Fuck you. <laughs> The car's designed for autonomous control, but nothing's there or even calibrated. It's capable, but suboptimal, not junk. See? That's what I'm talking about. Think positive. It's just stupid. So that's the plan? Fix a smart car the space company couldn't? Problem? No, we got this. Hmm. I'm so hungry. Please? Me. <laughs> yeah. They did pull them down. They set the big old button that says, Who has money? Taiwan?
This should come in handy. Hey, Marcus. Me wrench in the garage when you're ready. Will do. Hackers love a challenge. Guys, let's fire it up. Atmosphere. 
here. Step back, kitties. I'm not your mommy's smart car. They shouldn't have risked their reputation by dealing with the studio at all. It's okay, Josh. You know why? No, Satara. Why? We're gonna hit him where it giga hurts. <laughs> Started out as just a trickle, then boom. The numbers haven't stopped climbing. This is a good target. Yeah, but was it? You don't think? No, I mean, of course, look at the numbers, but I don't know, there's, I mean, what are we gonna do? You know, for real. Aim bigger. Hell yeah, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Are you watching? <laughs> no. It's like sadtube.com. A channel for sad people, am I right? <laughs> yes, them. I mean, come on. Look at them. They've got their own goddamn branding. I've been following them since they accessed our server network. Jesus Christ, don't yell in my fucking ear. Use your inside voice, will ya? Anyways, it's all done other than the handshake. We're working with the human Izulu. In case it gets to the 
collateral damage part of the relationship. They'll be discreet. Marcus, those new Don Parasites got our recruitment video killed. Can you believe it? Oh, I believe it. Jimmy Siska's greatest fits? Uh, say it ain't so. What are we gonna do about it? Come by the hackerspace when you have a minute, and we'll figure out the best way to pay them back. Hi. Right. Nudon wants to step into the ring with us. They got our recruitment video killed on all the big social media sites and threatened to sue anyone who hosts it. This is gonna cost us a lot of followers. DMCA takedown, annoying. This is worse than annoying. This is a declaration of war. I will not be censored. Hey, Nudon's a fucking scam. <sighs> Rich people throwing away their money for some elitist circle jerk shit. This could be big for us. I mean, nobody's gonna take the side of those assholes unless they're already members. We are so gonna cornhole this fake-ass church. What's cornhole? Where the corn goes after you eat the corn, Josh. Oh. They don't like us using footage of their celebrity whore, Jimmy Siska. So let's start with him. He's our highest-profile spokesperson. But it's, it's Jimmy Siska. I mean... When I was a kid, I had the Siska glasses, the pop collar. I, I even knew every line to open wounds. Dude, me too. I even have the lunchbox. Nice. Mint, Mint condition. Nice. Just not, not Siska, okay? Just anyone but him. There's, please. there's gotta be another way, all right? I don't. He's in town shooting Cyber Driver. I was just thinking maybe we could talk to him. Fuck up his relationship with New Dawn. He can go back to being less of a douchebag. Then I could go back to wearing my Siska tees without feeling like one. Wait a minute. You use cornhole as a verb. That doesn't even make sense in the context of you. Okay, okay. We focus on Siska. <laughs> New Dawn keeps blackmail records of their celebrity shills, right? We check out the local center. We just need to get in and dig up his file. Everybody in? In. I'll round up the locals and I'll meet you there. Let the cornholing begin. <laughs> you heard the man. <laughs> Cornhole. <laughs> For too long, predators have victimized the weak and the wounded under the guise of religion. The Church of the New Dawn is a scam. Yeah. Rank in the church is based on financial contribution. Loyalty is bought through blackmail and fear. They believe they are untouchable. That will soon change. DeadSec will reveal the secrets and true purpose of New Dawn. You can help. Take up a mask and protest your local recruitment center. Let their leaders know what you think of them online. Join us as we send them a message. No more. DeadSec will give you the truth. Do what you will.
something to show you. Am I gonna like it? I'm gonna say 30 to 1 odds against. Then I guess I better get it out the way. See you soon. What's all this shit about? Son of a bitch, what is happening? What the hell are you doing? Coming. That's gonna get a reaction from Bloom. I can't believe people let them grab so much power. All that sci-fi shit we read as kids. Big Brother, Thought Control, Pre-Crime. It's all here now, isn't it? Thanks to Bloom and their CTOS. Those authors saw it coming decades ago, but nobody listened. Everybody's too sold on pleasant corporate platitudes and flawless branding to realize the whole damn thing's a societal Trojan. It doesn't help that CTOS actually does what they say it does either. We're opposing a system that helps people on the surface, but exploits them behind the scenes. Makes it easy to paint us as the bad guys. Question for you. How much access does DedSec have to CTOS? In other cities, when it was still CTOS 1.0, we had a lot. Sucks because we were too careless. Missed our window to do something big. 2.0. We're the first group to go up against it. So we're still playing catch up. Other cities, when it was still CTOS 1.0, we had a lot. Sucks because we were too careless. Missed our window to do something big. 2.0, we're the first group to go up against it. So we're still playing catch up. They were expecting us this time. Hmm, the thought of DedSec written on a whiteboard in some Bloom office makes me all squishy inside. We keep it up. Next time, maybe they'll use the red marker. Whoa, whoa, whoa!
Can I help you? If you're looking for anything special, just ask. Distracting enough for you? Yeah. You gonna go inside and take a peek, or...? Oh, yeah. Oh, and I wore my church clothes. Nice. Buy enlightenment! It only costs your life savings! All right, I'm heading in. I'll dig up what I can on Siska. We're about to go to battle with these fuckers. I need anything shady you can find. If we want to pick up followers, we need to generate some serious outrage. Can't we just make something up? If we get caught lying, everything else DedSec ever claimed will be called a lie. Don't worry. If they've shit the bed, I'll find the dirty sheets. And in comes Marcus with the classy metaphor. <laughs> I aim to please. Over there. This city needs another upgrade. 
Okay, like I was saying. I doubt. What was that? Don't forget it. What the hell? Guys, I think we can use Siska as an ally. The man's in big trouble with the church. They're even planning an emergency audit. Audit? They're after his money. Of course they are. But this is something different. They wire themselves up to these bullshit electronic doohickeys and play psychiatrists with each other. It's cute. Siska's waiting for the auditor to show, but he's gonna get me instead. Are you serious? You're gonna wing it. So gonna wing it. First, I have to delay the real auditor. He's gonna get a call from Jimmy Siska. Yes, guys, you have to hear his Jimmy Siska impression. It's ridiculous. I <laughs> don't have time now. I'll be in touch. Hello? Jason, I heard you're coming for an audit today. Jimmy, right, right. I was just about to leave. How's it going? Not good. I think I ate one too many empanadas, my friend. 
My stomach is way too unstable for a session. If you catch my drift. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I get you. Violent, violent diarrhea. Yes, I understand. Can we reschedule? Yeah, we're gonna have to. I took a handful of chewables. I'll give you a call back soon, I promise. We good? We're cool. You take care of yourself, Jimmy. Working on it. Yo, Sitar, I was curious about your posters. They're good. <laughs> Real good. Like art. <laughs> Fuck off. They are art. <laughs> I don't know, man. I've never done the street art thing before. You'll just have to be my student then. Sending you a meeting spot. See you there. If you think you can hack it. Recent leaks of confidential emails has had unexpected consequences for HMP Studios. Contents of the documents expose an ongoing contentious collaboration with Galilei, the company responsible for the expensive high-tech car featured in the studio's latest blockbuster, CyberDriver. The emails reveal that a studio executive referred to the car as a useless lemon and threatened legal action against the space company. There was good news for HMP Studios, however. Following the hack, interest around the movie spiked, making CyberDriver the surprise hit of the year. Police say that the studio has yet to press charges against the hacker group. We'll keep you posted. Hey. Yeah? Oh well.
numbers, the one about the moon. My house was nuts when I was growing up. You can't clip your nails at night because... Hey there, you got the best life. How can people keep buying this? Can you see what's happening all around us? Super gentrification. It's wretched. Damn it, I'm Careful. sorry. What can I get you? Conspiracy is bullshit. Why do you have to believe everything you hear? Huh? When's the last time you thought a politician had an IQ higher than your shirt? Sure I don't think this guy is up to anything more than just a virgin dance. That's all he's doing. Acting. 24-7. Oh, that's hell. Take my oh. gun! Hey, oh. hey, I don't know about this. Hey, Ghoul, what's up? I managed to snatch some new dawn clothes for you. Gotta look the part, right? <laughs> nice. Thanks, man. No worries. Give him hell. Yes? Hi. I'm Jason Lowell. I'm here for your audit. Okay, Jason Lowell. <laughs> I hear you're the best. Come on in. Thank you for the hospitality. Please. All right, uh, let's get started, huh? My sources tell me that you've been having some doubts about the church. I want you to tell me about that. <laughs> doubts? Well, doubts is a, it's a strong word. I'm not as inspired as I used to be. Jimmy, Jimmy, step up. Don't hide things from us. <sighs> You're right. Okay. Okay, there are rumors about this place where they take church members who are having issues, and they don't come back for a really long time, if they come back at all. 
I've heard these rumors, and guess what? They're just rumors. <laughs> but that's it? I'm not in trouble? For telling the truth? No. Thank you. I, I, I promise you will not regret this. Yeah, look, well, look, one last thing. I really need to get to the heart of this rumor, so do they say where this imaginary camp might be? I don't know. I don't know. I hope I never find out. Well, does it have a name? Ah, uh, the, the, the Red Room. They called it the Red Room. Oh, yeah, man. And one last thing, man. Like, your last five movies have been just disappointing as shit, so act better. All right, keep your chin up. Peace! Sorry. All right, I have a new lead on how we can burn New Dawn, but I'm missing a key piece. Jimmy Siska is afraid of something called the Red Room. Jimmy Siska in the Red Room. The Red Room seems to be some kind of rehab center where they send problematic church members. People who go there... Sometimes, they stay gone. If they're kidnapping people, this is potentially huge for us. This goes beyond my resources. Want me to reach out? Nah, I got this. Damn. Miranda speaking. Hi, it's me, Marcus. Marcus? All the way? How did you get my number? Right, I forgot. I need something. It's about New Dawn. Have you ever heard of the Red Room? Miranda? Texting you an address. Meet me there. I just need info. Uh-huh. What kind of trouble are you in? We're making trouble for the church. We who? Dead sick. I knew it. I have friends that would love to put dead sick behind bars. Like a good fight? Hey, so did you. Excuse me? Oh, I watched you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with New Dawn back in the day. But hey, I get it. You a councilwoman now. No, no. You don't get to pull that I sold out crap on me. These assholes wreck lives on a weekly basis. They went public with videos of my surgeries. But here's the thing. I don't give a shit. I got nothing to hide. But you're right. 
I am a councilwoman now. My hands are tied. That's why you asked me to meet you here. You need my help. Looks like you need mine. Plus, I finish what I start. First of all, don't mistake New Dawn for a church. They are a criminal organization. I pulled the records of all the properties they own in the Bay Area. There's one that just doesn't check out. Over there. Hmm. They have it marked as an educational center. Doors are locked. Nobody answers. Security comes and goes. Does that sound like an education center to you? Nah, no, it sounds like a re-education center. I'll stick around. Go see what you can find. Thanks, Miranda. Marcus, did you meet with Miranda? I did. We think this is the place, but we don't know what kind of place this is. It's obvious they're hiding something, though. So, I'm gonna see if I can find a computer and snoop around. Someone there. Realized. We have reports of previously identified target near your location. Over. Jimmy Siska. Looks like you were right. Hello, Marcus. This is the place, and they brought Jimmy Siska here. If I bust him out, think you can get him someplace safe? Count on it. I'll be ready. Jason! My name's not Jason, and I'm not with New Dawn. I don't belong here, man. You gotta get me out. Get moving, go. Okay, okay.
Miranda, Jimmy Siska's headed your way. What about you? I'll get out on my own. Just make sure he's safe. I will. Marcus, I got Jimmy out safe. Thanks, Miranda. Hey, you did all the legwork. Here, he wants to talk to you. Marcus, if that's your name. I want to burn these bastards and I know where to start. I'll meet you outside the Temple of New Dawn. Man, you should file a police report. We just proved the church keeps prisoners. I've got footage. We'll release a video soon to let the world know. What else do we need? I can lead you to the heart of the religion. The holy relics. The original source. Now, how am I going to resist an offer like that? I'll see you there. Marcus, our followers network is becoming a steamroller. <laughs> you should be proud. You started all of this. DeadSec was a bunch of loose ideas before, but you've turned it into a movement. People are wearing your art, repeating your slogans. You've tuned into something here. Thank you, Marcus. Just don't forget, there's purpose behind this. I'm not in it for the candy coating. I want people to wake the fuck up. They've been sleeping a long time, but they'll get there.